Hey guys, it's Jane here, and today I wanted to make a tutorial video on how to do the re replay glitch. Now, this is a pretty obscure glitch in Mario Kart Wii that allows you to take control of the replay. Now, I've done a lot of research on this glitch the last few days, so I'm pretty comfortable giving a, uh, at least a semi-complete explanation on why I think it works, as well as a pretty in-depth tutorial on how to pull it off. So, if you have any questions, because I won't be able to go into everything in this video, just make sure to put those in the comments. So, the first step I'm doing right now is I'm just completing three laps normally. Um, and stopping right before the line. Now keep in mind, um, this first step is as simple as just finish the race after the ghost will not save message appears. However, it's a little bit more convenient to do the first two laps. So you can cross the line as soon as the message appears. So basically if you had tried to just wait at the start of the race for the message to appear, you'd still have to drive laps two and three after it appeared, as opposed to driving laps one and two first, then you could just wait the end of the line at lap three. So I know it's a small time saver, but because this glitch is pretty time consuming, it's, it's worth the, just saving a little bit of time. Now another thing I'm going to go into is uh, two very common misconceptions in Mario Kart Wii. I'll go into the first one right now, which is that I feel like a lot of people think that ghost message I was just talking about only appears after a certain amount of time, when in reality it actually appears after a certain amount of button inputs. So in theory, you can just spam buttons and the message will appear a lot sooner than it normally would, which is what I'm doing exactly right now. So this is because the game is actually tracking every input you put in w during a time trial race. And the reason it does this is for the second misconception that I was talking about, which is that a replay is a video, which it really isn't. It's actually a race. When you hit the watch replay button, think of it as starting hitting the retry button or start a new race button. But the only difference is that you don't have any control over the race and some other changes, which I'll go into later when the glitch, I get to the actual glitch part. Right now, this is all set up, but that wasn't clear. And basically, um, okay, so the reason that at a certain point the ghost message appears is because the game can only store so many inputs. So basically, as you can see right now, I'm doing like a 360. The game is keeping track of that, how much I tilted, what buttons I was holding down for how long, and it can replay that perfectly during the replay, which is a separate race. In addition to that, it has the same character and the same course, so in theory, everything should be exactly the same. And it is the vast majority of the time. Now, there's some ways to throw this off, which prove that the replay really is a, actually a separate race. And if you want to look into it, it's called the Wiggler Glitch. I'm not going to go into this video for the sake of confusing you. But uh, just keep in mind that the replay is not, a, is not a video. It is a separate race that can be messed with, and that's what we're doing in this glitch. I'm not sure how it works, but it does. So the whole point here is to... Uh, is to basically take control of that replay race. So instead of it doing all the pre-saved moves that I'm storing right now, I, we can basically take control of the replay ourselves. Now, um, I should get this out of the way. Okay, so the message just appeared. I'm going to finish the race now. You don't have to wait at all. You can just cross the line as soon as the message appears. I'd wait like five seconds just to be safe. Now, the next step is obviously to watch the replay. That's pretty self-explanatory, though. Just view replay. There's no, as I said, no precise tricks. There's only one last step. That's it. It's as simple as... Do a race until that message appears. If you want, you can spam buttons to make it faster, but then all you have to do is go to the pause menu, hit quit replay, and wait on this menu. This is the last step. Don't hit anything by accident, like my stupid motion controls almost did there. And you can sit here. Now you'll have to wait as long as it took you to get that message to appear, which is why spamming to speed it up really is very useful. It cuts down on a lot of time. So I'll get into the actual effects of the glitch in a few minutes once I get there. Though what I should say is, uh, I did not discover this glitch, if that wasn't clear. I actually found it when looking into the Wiggler glitch I was um, mentioning earlier, and someone um, showed me this, and I, my mind was blown. Like, I I don't know if this is very well known at all, but I, when I found out about it, I like couldn't believe that this was a thing in the game that people didn't know about. Um, so let me think what else I could... There's not much else I want to talk about. I just didn't want to do any cuts so you could see the whole glitch in its entirety so there's not any vagueness about what to do i just yeah i didn't want to have any confusion at all in this video so once again if it wasn't clear you just do a regular race until the ghost message appears oh and you know what? i'll go into that now too the reason we need the ghost message to appear is because there's actually two ways a replay will end the first one is when you finish the race in the replay obviously but the second one is when the you've put too many uh, inputs so the ghost message appears, in which case the replay will cut off short, or like the screen will fade to black, and then restart at the beginning of the race. So there's two ways the replay can end. 
We want the second one where it cuts off prematurely for this glitch to work. Again, I don't know why that is exactly. And I also don't know why it has to be on the specific menu right now in order for it to work. Now, you don't have to be on the retry. You could be on any of these options here. It really it does not matter. You just have to have this menu open. There's no precise input I said. It's really super easy. I highly recommend checking it out. I feel like more people haven't looked into this because of the fact that it just wasn't very well known. So, I don't know. What else? I, I think I actually have covered pretty much everything. I'll cover to the more uh, specific stuff when I can actually show it to you during the glitch itself. Keep in mind, this is all set up, and as you can see, it can take quite a bit. Now, the spamming to get the message to appear can be take anywhere from like two and a half minutes to like four minutes if you're doing it, like depending on how fast you mash. But, uh, so the setup for the coach can be quite lengthy if you do it the right way. Which is why waiting till the end of lap three to do it, it just saves a little bit of time, but it can make a big difference. But yeah, if, if, for those of you who want to look into this glitch, the thing that needs to be understood is why having this menu open causes all this. Like, this is the part that I don't think anyone understands. I'm probably, like, not to brag, but like, I, I've looked into this enough that I'm pretty confident to say that I'm, like, the only person that knows this glitch as well as I do. Like, I'm probably the person who knows the most about it. So, if you have any questions, like, ask me, please. Okay, well, uh, here we go. Here's the glitch. I'll talk more about that later. I'll bit down downtime. But, uh... As you can see, everything looks normal at first. You can see I'm just suddenly in a race, though, which is kind of strange. And you'll notice immediately, none of the things appear on the screen. There's no mushroom counter, no lap counter, no time, no minimap, none of it. Which makes sense, because think about it. During a regular replay, those things don't appear. They're programmed to not appear. Now, another interesting thing that happens is when you press the 2 button, the replay menu pops up. And we'll look into what each of these options can do. But first, I'll do the thing that you're probably wondering the most, is what, is, and this is what happens when you finish all three laps. So another thing I should mention right now while I'm just doing a race, and okay, first I'll mention the fact that every time you press 2, this menu does appear. So the way I can keep accelerating like I have been, if that wasn't clear, is I'll press 2 to hit the continue replay button, but I'll keep holding it so I can continue to accelerate. So if I ever let go of the 2 button, as soon as I press it again, it'll, do, it'll pause again. And so does the A button. I'm using the Wii wheel, if you can tell. So it'll, it'll vary with your controller, obviously. So one more thing, which is really interesting, is that I actually still do have my mushrooms. They're just, there's the the, the uh, visual to show that I have them. Is it up there? So I'll prove that right now. Here's my first mushroom. Um, here is the second one. And here is the third and final mushroom. Okay. There you go, I accidentally paused. Um, but as you can see, I well, you can't see, but I am hitting the up button, and I have no more mushrooms. So everything, I like this, functions like a normal race. The only differences are the differences that occur during a replay. And if you think about it, a replay is supposed to be just a normal race, like recreated perfectly. So unfortunately, there's no real advantage we can take here. Now, as you can see, we're nearing the end of this last lap here, and I bet you're pretty excited to see what happens. Um, if you think about it, you can probably guess what's going to happen, but I won't spoil it. I also apologize for my terrible lines, as you can tell I don't time trial very often. And there we go. The music appears, it uh, plays as usual, but then as you can see, the visuals at the end that show my time, best lap time, never pop up. So, <laughs> the game is actually soft locked right now. There's only one way to quit out, besides just, you know, shutting off the Wii. You can, do, you can quit out the home menu. But the reason, and my guess for this is because in a regular replay, your, those times are not programmed to show up either, just like the visuals on screen aren't programmed to show up. So, and because like we've done some weird thing to the game where we've finished a replay when it wasn't, or like at the time I wasn't expecting us to finish it, they might, it might just never have a trigger to restart the replay. Like the thing that confuses me is why it's just soft locked as opposed to um, me just restarting the race right at the start line again. So that's another thing I guess you could look into. Like, that's another thing I don't really understand. Um, but I, as you can see here, I left this here for over an hour and nothing ever happened. So it really does repeat like this forever. Now, there are two other things I tried which have different results, which I'll go into a different uh, in, a, in a minute right now. Because I want to I wanna show you all the things I figured out with this glitch. This video will be probably my longest video by a long shot, but I think it's worth it. So I'm going to be back in a minute. I'm going to have to quit out of the game now because I'm soft locked. But I'll come back and I'll try a different race and I'll show the other two outcomes for the glitch if you do different stuff instead of finishing the race. Alright, I'm back. And this time, as you can see, I have a different cart, different character, different course, but just to prove that's possible. Now, I'm probably going to fast forward through most of this, 
but I just wanted to show the whole thing as entirety again in case it wasn't super clear what you had to do. Um, one more thing that I completely forgot to mention is because I know I use a lot of mods and stuff in my videos, but this is 100% regular Mario Kart Wii. Like, if that wasn't clear, like, there's no mods or anything that could affect this. Like, this is 100 legitimate. You could just turn on you, your Wii right now and do this. Like, it's that easy. Like, this is probably one of the easiest, like, game-breaking glitches in, the, in Mario Kart Wii. And one of the most obscure as well, which is why I felt the need to make a video on it and, like, learn about it as much as I could. So, as you can see, I'm just going to go right to la end of lap 3, like I have been. And then I'm just going to wait on the line for a bit. And I'll, I'll probably fast forward now, and then I'll skip to right, um, to the race again. To the, the actual, when the actual glitch race begins, so I'll see you then. All right, we're back. All right, so you've already seen what happens if we finish the race, but we still have some other options on this menu here during the pause menu, if that wasn't clear. So, as you can see, there's a continue replay, which just lets us continue the race, but there's still re restart replay and quit replay. Now, I'm not gonna show you the quit replay because I already checked it out and it's pretty self-explanatory. If you hit the retry option from the menu of six, it just restarts a brand new race and erases the prog progress of the glitch. All the other options just uh, bring you out of the race entirely, which also ends the glitch. The only option that has any effect on it is uh, the view replay option from this menu. And that has the same um, impact as the restart replay. So that's not worth showing you. Now, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to show you something right now. So you will see in a minute why I'm doing this, but I'm going to do a quick 360. And now I'm going to just drive a little bit. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to drive a little bit. So I might as well just finish a lap. There's no real reason I'm doing this, but I just want to show you what happens if we hit that restart replay before I manage to finish the race. Which does have a, another pretty interesting result. Alright, so we're almost at the end of the lap, so I think I'm going to restart right about now. So as you can see, I'm hitting restart replay, and this is a very interesting effect. As you can see, it starts the replay. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so it's just a six minute long replay again, right? Or, yeah. But, isn't, that's not the case. It's actually showing a replay of the race we just were in the middle of. Which means it's showing a replay of a race I never finished. The proof is that 360 right there, which I just did. Which pretty much proves that's the same replay. As you could see, during my first time I ran the race, I never did a 360 there. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but just definitive proof that there can't be any arguing this is true. So, this there's another very interesting impact of the, watching this replay here, which we'll get to, which is we're watching a replay of a race I never finished. So what's going to happen at the end? Which you'll see in just a second here. As you can see, right where I stop, Daisy stops and never moves again. That's right, because the game has run out of inputs to run through and the race has not ended, and the max amount of inputs has not been reached to restart the replay, there's no game trigger left to stop the replay. So Daisy will sit there forever, basically. And which also means we can watch those seagulls for all eternity. How fun. But uh, in all seriousness though, this is not a soft lock unlike the other one, as you can still hit these three options here. If we hit restart replay again, it'll just start us back at this same replay. So it won't do any other glitchiness. It'll just do this again. So this does beg one more outcome, which is, this is the most confusing one, so I save it for last. Um, so if this is technically a race, couldn't we do this replay glitch within the glitch replay race? And uh, as you can see, it's a pretty confusing concept, so I'll try to show you it as clearly as I can, once again, in another race. And I'll do that in just a minute here. But basically, what I'm implying is that because this replay right now is a separate race, even though I did it during a replay, it should be possible to set up the glitch. And basically, repeat it an infinite number of times. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to save your time after this. So even though we never finished this glitch, there's no way to quit out and have that be a time. Because I was hoping that there might be some kind of weird glitch where, like, 
if you don't finish a race, your placeholder time is like zero seconds. But unfortunately, if I quit out here, the time's never saved at all. The only real thing I can compare this glitch to is the Wiggler glitch, once again, because I'm not going to go into it, but it can also throw your ghost off enough that it never finishes the race. So there's really... So it's pretty interesting in that way that it's actually a glitch where you can have a replay that never finishes. It's a glitch where you can have a soft lock, and you have a glitch where you can play a race where there's things that you're seeing on the screen that aren't on the screen. So I'll be back once again, this time with a third and final outcome, and I'll see you soon. Thank I hope you, that you find this very interesting so far. This is one of the most intriguing things I've ever learned about this game, so I just wanted to make a video as soon as possible. But I had to hold myself enough to make sure I knew everything I could about it first. Because I didn't want to go into this blindly, I wanted to make sure I understood it very well, which hopefully I haven't been explaining this clearly. If there's anything unclear, once again, please ask me any questions you have. So once again, I'll see you, and thanks for watching so far. And you know, we might as well hit the retry button, just to get that out of the way as well. As you can see, it starts a brand new race, and as you can see, the things pop up at the normal time. Hey guys, this is Jaden here, one last time to show you the third and final outcome of this glitch. This time I didn't bother uh, showing any of the setup, I figure you understand it by now. So I skipped right to the end of lap 3. So the logic here is that, basically, because the replay itself is a, is a race, and we're taking control of that race, is it possible to recreate the glitch within the glitch? So basically get it so there's too many inputs so the replay can't finish. And the answer is actually yes. Now this is definitely the most complicated outcome, which is why I wanted to save it for the very end. So what I've been doing now is I've been mashing quite a bit. So now I'm probably going to go and finish the race. Or actually, no. I I'm sorry. Do not finish the race. Make sure no matter what, never cross the line. What you want to do when you're ready to test it out is hit the restart replay. Now I'm going to mash a little bit more because I'm always a little bit paranoid. As because there's no way to tell that the ghost message pops up like within the, the actual gl glitch race, as you can see. Because none of, as like all the other things that don't appear during replay, the ghost will not save message doesn't appear either. So, I think I'm pretty confident now. I'm going to go ahead and watch the replay. And now, basically, what we're going to do is just sit here for a little bit until the replay ends. And once it does, just like during the regular glitch, the screen will fade to black, and we will be able to start a new race. Once again, though, make sure to have this menu open. It's the same as before. Basically, all you're doing is doing the glitch within the glitch. And uh, there's no, once again, there's no real use to this. It's just basically an easier way to reset the glitch without doing the full reset. Like, you don't have to quit out of the race, you can just do this. But, uh, this was just, the point of me showing this is the fact that, like, kind of to demonstrate, there's a lot you could probably do this glitch. Um, I've only looked at it, like, I looked at it pretty in-depth, but not a, there's a good chance I missed a ton of stuff still here. Um, and there's still a lot I don't understand about this. So, I wanted to get this video out there, so you guys, hopefully, because this, this is one of the easiest glitches to look up, so I, or like to pull off. So there's a very, it, you guys could probably look into this and make realizations of your own here. It's not like an ultra shortcut where you need to be a pro to pull it off or have tasks. Like you could just do this in regular Mario Kart Wii. Because I didn't try every single like combination with these menus here. Because I figured they'd all be the same, but maybe there's some way that it will do something different. If there was a way ever to get it so you could exit out of this race so the time actually saves then this could allow you to have a shortcut or like a glitch that allows you to have a lap time or race time of like zero seconds from my theory from before which is basically that you could finish if basically it's this isn't another weird concept but I figured like if you don't finish a race it has like a placeholder time of like maybe like zero seconds or something and if there was a way to get that placeholder time to be the actual time that could basically make every track beatable in zero seconds which is pretty awesome but I don't think there's a way to do that currently. All right, I just decided to skip ahead um, a little bit ahead in the replay. I figured it wasn't worth showing the whole thing. But basically, as you'll see, the screen will fade out black here, hopefully, if I mash enough before finishing the race. And then the glitch will race will, it will start another glitched race where I'm inside of a replay. Dang, I don't know if I actually mashed enough. This is the dangerous part. I hope I did it enough. I really feel like I did, but maybe I didn't. Oh wait, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show it off right here. As you can see, it starts a brand new race. 
once again within the glitch state. And it doesn't, this doesn't achieve anything, it's just an easier way of resetting the glitch. There's not really much else to show here, as you can see I am within the glitch state again, the menu pops up, everything's glitchy. Honestly, that's about it. Uh, I will show you one more uh, blooper I had, it kinda <laughs> where I kind of failed. It's pretty easy to mess up, so you got to be pretty mindful the whole time of which buttons you're hitting when. Uh, and with that, I'll say uh, adios and see you guys soon. So thanks for watching. And I will show what happens if you quit. It just it just quits. So that's that's pretty. It's not very exciting. But go ahead and finish the race. The next step is where the, the the glitch is starting to actually happen. That was just all set up. Because you need a replay that won't actually finished. So now you want to watch the replay, obviously. Oh, no! No! All the dang motion controls! Ah! Well, that's going in a blooper at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to do another tick.